Driving in Mongolia is a real challenge. There may be no police, speed cameras, or even road signs. But there are also no roads, at least not as we know them. It's actually one giant dirt track with lots of rocks, potholes, and it demands constant attention. We only saw one bridge in all of our time in Mongolia, and that was being repaired. That means, of course, there's only one way to get over a river or a lake, and that's to cross it by car. You need your own mechanic in the depths of Mongolia because there are no garages out there or AA breakdown men. Fortunately, we had the expert assistance of Leon from Land Rover, a man who knows everything about these models. Rock crawling is another favorite pastime when you're in a discovery. This vehicle has got the capabilities of a mountain goat, but it is something you need to do with caution and with a great deal of knowledge. When people say that Land Rover is king of the 4x4s, this is why. Because they literally take you up the side of a mountain to the very top. Land Rovers have the ability to defy the laws of physics, which is why they are so much more than a mere car. A Discovery is a luxury executive limo, capable of carrying seven people in style, but can also take you to the parts of the vehicles can't reach. Mongolian men are great horsemen, it's a tradition in the country. I've now met my very first Mongolian horseman who spent his entire life in the saddle. He's taking me under his wing, but sadly, I don't even look as if I can muster a gallop, never mind a sprint. Mongolians are some of the finest horsemen in the world. They ride hundreds of miles a week moving their herds of goats and sheep from one place to another. But they also love racing their horses and challenged me to a handicap race with the Land Rover. I, of course, lost. We tried to join in with the locals, and as you can see, I even dressed up for the part, wearing their traditional top coat, which is called a dial, and a hat, which is called the Malgai. Discoveries are perfect for the outdoor fans. Not only do they carry anything from seven people, to canoes, you can even make up your own sports. Like sand kayaking at 35 mile an hour, towed by a disco. This really is something totally different. So when politicians generalize about Chelsea trackways, perhaps they should stop and think first. The reality is for thousands of people, Land Rovers are a vital form of transport, especially in remote areas and the firm is investing millions of pounds developing greener and more fuel efficient vehicles. And apart from an army of satisfied customers, they also employ nearly 9,000 workers and thousands more supplying components to the firm who are all equally proud to build the finest 4x4s in the world. And that's a fact. <laughs>